Hi, my name is Robert Feranek and today I would like to speak about uh, a DDR3 design uh, what I was working on and uh, I was using Altium Designer The implementation CPU, two memory chips on the top two memory chips on the bottom Now, DDR channel 0 in this area with half of the data bus connected to the bottom chip and half of the data bus connected to the top chip. Same for the DDR channel one which is connected in this area. In the first step uh, I pre-routed all the memories. I think it doesn't need a lot of explanation, it's connecting uh, CPU pins with the memory pins. Uh, when I was doing this I keep uh, all the signals in uh, one class routed same way it means all the signals, for example, from bank 0 goes first on the layer 1 then, as you can see, they all go to layer 10 layer 11 and 12 Once the memories are pre-routed, we can do length matching I always start with uh, control signals under uh, memory chips. In the first step I place wires into the middle of the chips and then I connect the wire with the pins pin on the top and with the pin on the bottom memory chip. If I select a signal then the track length on the top and on the bottom between pin and wire should be the same or in tolerance of 5 mils. I usually measure this last segment just manually because it's short and it's, it's not difficult. I select the copper and uh, check the length. As you can see this is 87. If I go on the top and select this part of the track just click on the track then press shift, hold it down and click on the other track and then the shortcut uh, to measure is RS88 again RS To make it easier and faster, uh, we can copy and uh, paste the layout uh, from one memory chip to the other memory chip. I'll show you how to do it. We can build a filter. Is track and belongs to net class control. OK, now do not select mask. Control C. Clear the filter. Go to the second memory chip. Select the same wire what I used to copy. Control V and paste and that's it in the next step we will length match the length from CPU to the top memory chip and I'm not going to use from 2 because I had some issues with it 
I will show you different method and I need to say uh, it's not my idea and I need to give credit uh, to Andreas thanks Andreas I'll be, I will use same filter what I used before but what I will do now is I will temporarily remove the tracks going from the middle via to VTT resistor and from the middle via to the bottom memory chip Control C Delete Control V Control C Delete Control V and Control C Delete V clear the filter now what left now are only the tracks coming from CPU through layer 10 and layer 3 to the middle wire and the top memory chip there are no other tracks it means in this case we can length match the tracks based on this number I will sort this number based on the length and then I just go through each of the signals and uh, try to meet plus minus 20 mils requirements it means all the signals should be in tolerance plus minus 20 mils of course for the length matching we can't use this area because we want to keep it same and it was already length match with the area under the bottom chip but we can use the layer 10, layer 3 or the area close to the CPU also the rules what I'm speaking about I used in my design may not apply to your design then uh, the best is uh, read the design guide from your uh, chip manufacturer and follow the rules what they suggest once we are finished with the length matching we can go and copy the layout what we temporarily moved out control C delete and we can place it here back and as you can see everything is back now the numbers can't be used now because they are different for the data signals in my case it's straightforward because I have pin to pin connection I can directly use these numbers and uh, 
length match the signals within the group in tolerance plus minus 10 mils with the DQS signal in the middle. In case you are using these numbers, you need to be aware of one thing. Sometimes may happen that during the layout you have something like this and uh, then the, this length is added to the total length of the track. As you can see it's 9, 12, 7, 9. If I delete it, it's 12, 6, 3 then uh, always carefully uh, check the tracks and uh, just be sure the number is, is real and correct. Always when I work on a board with uh, requirements such DDR2 or DDR3 I create a uh, Excel spreadsheet and I put all the lengths on each layer into the spreadsheet uh, for the memories and I calculate uh, all the values what I need to know and all the differences and uh, I'm doing it this way I'm always sure everything is green and uh, it's correct. When I finish the memory checking and I'm happy with the layout I go and set filter like this one is track or is via and is in net class in my case I, do, I use this one be sure you select the tracks go to PCV inspector and I lock them down I hope you found this uh, video useful and hopefully you learned something new if you have any questions or uh, comments uh, about hardware design uh, just drop me an email if, if you would like to see more videos about Altium Designer or hardware design what I've done then you can find them on my well done blog in, uh, in hardware design section or in Altium Designer uh, posts thank you very much for watching